Did you know that there's karma in the Hellenic religion? And that is called Zeus. What's up guys? So I was reading Hesiod's The Works and Days out of this copy that I'd recommend, but I was reading The Works and Days today and it brought up about how Zeus sees everything and he is the one that deals out punishment for those that do wicked deeds. And so I thought, let's read about that because a lot of people wonder about karma and they're like, karma is going to catch up to you. And now we have a Hellenic Greek um, view on that, and it's called Zeus. And that Zeus uh, deals out the punishment and justice to people who do bad deeds. And so let's read about that in Hesiod's The Works, the Works and Days. Just a little bit about it that I thought was interesting. So it says that often a whole city is paid punishment for one bad man who commits crimes and plans reckless actions. On this man's people, the son of Kronos, out of the sky, inflicts great suffering, famine and plague together, and the people die and diminish. The women bear children no longer, the houses dwindle by design of Olympian Zeus. Or again, at other times, he destroys the wide-camped armies of a people, or wrecks, their cities with its walls, or their ships on the open water. So you barons also cannot even you understand for yourselves how justice works for the immortals are close to us they mingle with men and are aware of those who by crooked decisions break other men and care nothing for what the gods think so it's for people that do bad things and they don't care what the gods think upon the prospering earth that are 30 there are so this is interesting and this it says that upon the earth there are 30,000 immortal spirits who keep watch for Zeus and all that men do. So people don't get our way with anything. There are, there are spirits that watch us and they report back to Zeus to tell him what's going on. So they have an eye on decrees given on harsh dealings and invisible in the dark mist they hover over the earth. So in bright daylight or in the dark, they can still see what we're doing. And Justice, her, Justice herself is a young maiden, for she is the Zeus's daughter, and seemingly and respected by all gods of Olympus. When any man uses force on her by false impeachment, she goes and sits at the feet of Zeus, her father, and cries out on the wicked purpose of men, who for their own greedy purposes twist the courses of justice aslant by false proclamations. Beware of such spirits. Straighten your decisions, you eater of bribes. Banish from your minds the twisting of justice. The man who does evil to another does evil to himself, and the evil counsel is most evil for him who counsels it. For the eye of Zeus sees everything, and his mind understands all. He's watching us right now. If he wishes to, nor does he fail to see what kind of justice this community keeps inside of it. So moral of the story is that nothing escapes the eye of Zeus. And so when people say that karma is going to get them or you believe in karma, the Hellenic view would be that you believe that Zeus is going to deal out justice for something wrong that someone has done. Just something to think on a day, which is really interesting, that we can incorporate what we call karma to the Hellenic view. So, always be a good person. Always do the right thing. Never judge falsely and never lie. And always be truthful and you'll have a good life. Because it actually says a little further that he actually prospers people that do so. Here it is. So it says that if a man sees what is right and is willing to argue it, Zeus of the wide brows grants him prosperity. And when no, when one knowingly tells lies and swears an oath on it, when he is so wild as to do damage against justice, this man is left diminished generations hereafter. But the generation of the true sworn man grows stronger. Anyway, guys, 
hope you liked this video and I'll talk to you later. Something to think about. Bye.